super focused, I'd be weighing and measuring everything. Ooh. Wow, that's some sriracha. Hey everybody, Darren Robinson here, the fitness foodie. Boom, boom, boom. So basically what I'm gonna do, I was inspired to do something Asian, like I usually am, I love doing Asian stuff, and I'm gonna do some lettuce wraps. But I'm gonna do these lettuce wraps with this stuff. So I'm gonna have some chicken in here and I'm gonna have shirataki noodles. Now shirataki noodles come in this package, they have this brine, you need to uh, soak them. You just kind of rinse it a couple times, literally just gonna dump it in a shaker cup and then just rinse it with that uh, two or three times, two, three full cups dump it out. I've rinsed them a couple times now. Final rinse. Just put my hand over there so they don't go anywhere. Into the sink. So the thing about uh, shirataki noodles is they're made of cognac root. The cool thing about these is this whole amount right here probably has about uh, three grams or less of net impact carbs. So when I'm figuring out my food, I don't even really count this. It's like pretty much all just fiber. It's not worth worrying about. Also on my cutting board here, I've got some herbs from our garden. So we have basil, mint, chives, cilantro. I have some green onions that I've chopped up here. That did not come out of the garden. I have four ounces of cooked chicken. It's approximately four ounces. I know for myself that I like to have my protein between 35, 40 grams per meal. So that's gonna give me about three and a half to four ounces. I've been eyeballing it long enough. Uh, my carbs for my meals, for myself personally, are usually around the 30 grams. I'm not gonna get close to that today. Well, I might get over the 20 gram mark, and it's gonna be mainly due to the condiments like the hoisin sauce, which is actually quite sugary. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of this to be about 10 grams of carbs. Uh, and I'm gonna be using some cornstarch to make this sauce to make it kind of sticky. I've also got right here some of the most pure chicken stock you're gonna get. When I cooked the chicken and I took it out of the oven, basically it rendered a lot of its juices. So I collected those juices, waste not, want not, and now I have this super potent chicken liquid. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm actually gonna put some cornstarch in there. I'm just gonna put a teaspoon in there, which I think this is about maybe three grams of carbs. Yes, it does. For a teaspoon, I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna add the hoisin to it. I'm gonna add some sriracha to it to give it a little bit of heat, another little bit of zing, a little bit of rice wine vinegar to it too. That rice wine vinegar is just gonna give it a little bit of sharpness and that's gonna create the sticky sauce when I start cooking this thing. I've also got some garlic here too. I'm gonna use the garlic when I'm cooking everything up. The er herbs are gonna go on uh, once the chicken is on the lettuce wrap with the, uh, with the noodles. And then it's all just gonna get a squeeze of good old fresh lime and then it's going right in my gob. Okay, let's get this going. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this sauce. So I've got my chicken stock. To this I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon. I'm gonna go with a couple teaspoons of the sriracha because I like it spicy, like me. Whoa. This is getting low in the sriracha. Oh, again. I'm gonna give that a little stir. Just to sort of give it a little taste and see if it needs more of anything. Now, if I was being super clean, being super focused, I'd be weighing and measuring everything. Ooh. Wow, that's some sriracha. Okay, that's good. Now, a little bit of vinegar for some zing. Another taste. This is all for me, so, mm, so I can use the same spoon and it's no big deal. Okay, now, I couldn't find my one teaspoon measure for whatever reason, so I have a half. I need one teaspoon of this, approximately, so that's two halves. One. Now with cornstarch, you want to mix it into cold liquid, not hot liquid, because if you put it in hot, it just doesn't work. It doesn't dissolve. All right, so I've got that ready to go. To be honest, I actually a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more hoisin in there so it's a little bit sweeter. All right. All right. So that oil is nice and hot. Let's start adding stuff to it. Just gonna bring the chicken back up to temperature here. Garlic going in there. 
literally, that should be warm enough. Yep, getting a bit of color there already. Uh, the amount of coconut oil I had in there was about just a little bit over a teaspoon. So a little bit of fat obviously in the chicken, not much. And I usually get about 15 to 20 grams of fat per meal. So I'm definitely within my range. Noodle time. Cover that chicken with it. Flip this like so. Make sure we stir up that cornstarch. Crank the heat up for that. You need to get your pan nice and hot so this gets nice and sticky. Let's put the rest of that in. All right, we can see now it's getting all bubbly and sticky. Let's add a little bit of green onion right now. A little bit of that flavor in there. Let's put this together. So we got this. Let's get some noodles in there. Let's get some chicken in there too. Man, this smells so good. Now, if you had this at a typical Asian restaurant, it's probably gonna be tons of sugar in it, which we have a tiny bit coming from the hoisin, but they will have that plus more sugar. All right, let's go with a little bit more of the green onion here. Little bit of this assorted fresh herbs. Little bit of lime juice. And let's see how this tastes. Here we are. Let's roll this up and give it a taste. So I've got two leaves on here because this is hot and I don't want the leaf just welt wilting everywhere. So there we go right there. That's gonna be the first bite. This is lava hot. Scorcher. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God though. That is great. If I was at any Asian restaurant right now and I had that, I would tell people about it and go, hey, when you go there, you gotta have that awesome freaking meal that Darren made. There you go. Super fast. Once again, this whole thing probably took four or five minutes in prep. Definitely no more than five minutes in the pan. Hardly any carbs in here. Probably again, about 20 grams of carbs. My protein's up around the 35, 40. My fat is probably about 10 to 15 grams of fat. So for me, this is a perfect, low calorie meal. Your average guy, this would be like a weight loss meal. Female, maybe cut that in half. Fitness foodie in the kitchen, showing you how to make some simple, quick stuff using some pre-cooked uh, proteins, and then just a few vegetables and a little imagination. I'm gonna finish this. Once again, a little look inside there, see what we're dealing with. Mmm. That's awesome. Anyways. Peace out.